Hello, welcome to Excel Tips by the HR Diary. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a correlation matrix for stocks with Excel. In investing, correlations are useful to find out how stocks move in relation to each other. A coefficient of positive one means there is positive correlation. That means the stocks move up or down together. A coefficient of negative one means there is negative correlation. That means the stock move in opposite direction. So here, if y goes down, x goes up. A coefficient of zero means there is no correlation. That means there is no relationship between the stock movements. Choosing a stock with low correlation with each other can help to re reduce the risk of your portfolio because when the prices fall for one stock, they rise to a certain degree for another stock, limiting your losses. When you need to test the correlations between two or more stocks, you need to construct a correlation matrix. To be able to run correlation using Excel, you need to first in install the analysis two pack. This is an Excel add-in program. To install the analysis two, two pack add-in, go to the file tab and then uh, click more options and click the add-ins under the manage make sure this is a uh, excel add ins then click go and uh, make sure that analysis two part is tick and then click okay go to data and you will see this uh, data analysis two pack that you just uh, added Okay, now here in this spreadsheet here, I've collected the stocks data over time for various stocks like uh, Adobe, Amazon, Apple, Google, right? Over this uh, period, all right? So I want to uh, calculate how well these stocks are correlated. Do they move up together or when one stock, when Adobe moves, does uh, Amazon move in the same direction? So I want to see how well correlated all these uh, stocks are. Now we are ready to create the uh, correlation matrix. To do this, click on the uh, data analysis uh, here. And then look for correla correlation, which is um, here. Left click it and then uh, click OK. At this uh, input range, click here. You need to select all the data that you want to include in your data analysis, which is, which is all the information here. So you click here, left click, and then uh, hold the, your left click button and select all the data, right? including the data lab labels in the top row. Then press enter on your keyboard. <clears throat> All right, next, I need to tell Excel how my data are organized. Are the data in columns or rows? If you look at, <clears throat> if you look at my, my data, each variable or stock, they are in a separate column. So I will select the column option. And because I selected the labels in my first row just now, I will need to select, need to tell Excel that um, my data includes um, labels in the first row. All right. Finally, I need to tell Excel where I want the correlation matrix to be displayed. This uh, first option, 
allow me to select an area in this, this uh, spreadsheet here, uh, within this spreadsheet where, where the results will be, will be placed. But this spreadsheet is already quite crowded, so I, I don't want the results to appear here. The second option, new worksheet here, will display the results in a new uh, sheet. The last option will display the results in an entirely new Excel document. I will select the second option, which is this, and click OK to run the analysis. As you can see, Excel has now generated for me a correlation matrix in a new worksheet. The earlier worksheet was here, so it has generated the correlation matrix for me in this new worksheet. Right? Okay, let me make it. Uh, okay, there's too many numbers. Let me make the number, reduce the number of in that decimal points um, to three decimal point. Okay, this looks uh, nicer. All right. Uh, let me make this bigger for you to see. And a little bigger. I will now interpret the uh, results of this uh, correlation mat matrix to help you uh, understand it. At the top row, you can see each of the stocks that I want to, to analyze. You can also see them at, at basically you can see them at the, at the row as well as at the, the column here. The numbers in the table here represents the co correlation coefficients. So for example, in uh, this cell, here is the correlation co coefficient value for the relationship between Amazon here and the Adobe. So the correlation is 0 0.6. So they move, it's a positive, that means they move in the same di direction, All right? So um, let's take uh, Facebook. So if you look at the intercept, Facebook and Adobe is negative 0.4. So they are correlated, but they move in different direction. That means uh, if, when Facebook go up, Adobe goes down, right? So you can also, so you pick here, again, you need to look at the intercept. Uh, Yam and uh, McDonald's, they are very positively correlated, almost one. So it's a positive, it's a 0.9. That means when Yam moves up, McDonald's also move, move up, all right? So um, uh, let's see what else uh, is there. A negative correlation. Um, yep. So McDonald's and uh, Adobe, they are they are strongly uh, negatively correlated. So when McDonald's go up, Adobe uh, share price usually goes down. And uh, let's look for some weak correlation, which is near zero. So uh, here, Google and Adobe, the relationship is quite weak. It's almost zero. So they, there's almost no correlation between uh, Google and, and Adobe. Next, I will show you how to color code each of these cells based on their correlation coefficient. To do this, we can use Excel's conditional formatting. First, highlight all the data in the matrix, all right? Then go to home uh, and look for conditional formatting and select create new rule. Okay. And uh, I want to pick um uh format all cells based on their values and for format style select three color scale then um change the minimum type to number and the change the value to negative one 
and the color code I want it red. Next, for the midpoint, change it to number as well, and uh, the value keep it as zero. The color um, choose white, and um, the maximum, the type put it as number, the value put it as positive one, and the color. I want it, yes, uh, I want it green. Um, would it be better? No, let's pick a strong green. Okay, so uh, what this uh, conditional uh, formatting rule is doing is that it's saying that any cell with a coefficient value of negative one will be colored red. And any cell with a value of zero will be colored white. Any cells with a value of plus one will be colored green. And because this is a color gradient, any values in between these points will have a shade of color that represents their correlation uh, coefficient value. I will click now click uh, OK to apply uh, these uh, uh, conditional formatting rule. So as you can see, the cells have changed color. So the uh, the let's see uh, some uh, so this McDonald's and Mastercard they are very strong uh, green, right? Uh, because they are almost uh, uh, near one, so the, it represents that they they have a very uh, uh, strong positive correlation because they have a very dark uh, green uh, color. So like oh, uh, other than MasterCard and uh, McDonald's, so other strong ones include, include uh, McDonald's and J&J uh, uh, &J and also uh, uh, Visa and McDonald's. Um, yep, so all the, uh, all the dark green ones. So the uh, red ones with strong uh, negative uh, correlations. So the red color represents a uh, negative correlations and the very strong one are the darker ones. For example, MasterCard and Adobe, they move in different direction. It means when MasterCard go up, Adobe usually goes down. And then uh, when McDonald's uh, go up, Adobe uh, uh, usually goes down. All right. So um, take note in this uh, uh, example, I'm only, uh, if you look at this data, I'm only using one month's data. I'm using a, a, a December uh, month. So sometimes a correlation that is done using small samples may, may not be that uh, reliable, although um, it gives you a, a, a quick sense. Uh, uh, but the, generally, the, the larger, the more data you use, uh, the longer the period, the more reliable the, the correlation. So you can use... Um, month data or even years data to look at the uh, correlation. All right. So um, uh, that, that's it. Thanks for watching uh, Excel Tricks by the HR Diary. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Diary channel. Bye.